Artillery. Support. Defender. Striker. Long ago, the four Oles lived in harmony. But everything changed when the second committee attacked. Only the controller, master of tech attacks, could stop them. But when the world needed them most, they took structure damage and disappeared into a non-space. Only the most elite hackers may use the goblin. It is not a mech for filthy casual scrubs. You must have at least 9001 hours in typing of the dead or your fingers will be unable to handle the sheer force of the goblin's posting capabilities. The goblin is a small mech, but far from being a short king. It's more like an incorrectly specced MMO player, permanently at 1 HP. Better hope you never pull aggro. The strat for playing goblin is simple. Don't get hit. If you would get hit, simply put, do not do that. Damage taken is subtracted from HP, and you don't have any. Do not take kinetic, explosive, or energy. And definitely do not take any burn. Avoid taking damage of any kind. You may also want to avoid heat, conditions, and any statuses other than invisible, which you should strive to be at all times. Play the goblin like the neurodivergent weirdo it is, constantly avoiding the horrifying curse of being perceived. My pronouns are slash. Do not refer to me. If you want to do a little trolling, then boy is this the frame for you. The goblin is capable of assuming direct control with its formidable e-warfare invasion rig, allowing it to overwhelm enemy systems with massive amounts of weaponized memes. The horror system upgrade one can output cringe so mathematically pure that hostiles will voluntarily eject their eyes from their sockets rather than continue to watch. It has also displayed the capacity to control the movement of other mechs, meaning that you can finally force enemies to touch grass. The goblin's excellent speed grants it the ability to whip a nini all over the battle space. Read me documentation suggests a secret. Dab command. For truly based pilots. Osiris is the result of Union paracasualists and fanatologisticians taking the fuck around and find out approach to NHP research. Osiris demonstrated a mastery of posting far beyond the theoretical limits of human potential. USB's data indicated Osiris would eventually have the capacity to L plus ratio the entire universe. Fortunately, Osiris clones also treat their pilots like an audience that they hate, but are desperate for the approval, adulation, or aura of. It can thusly be determined that Osiris class in HPs are live streamers, and may be dealt with appropriately. The Doo-Wah. 